What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes. If you come, guys, with a video right now, so I want to go over Alex Singleton um, of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, it looks like after acquiring Hassan Reddick, it looks like the Eagles are starting to make some changes at the linebacker position, and it looks like the Eagles are not putting a tender on Alex Singleton, so he will be an unrestricted free agent. Okay, and any team can acquire him. Now, there's only one of two things I can think of why they did this. Obviously, you have to resign him to some money. You know, I, how much? I don't know what it would have cost. Was it going to be a little bit of change that they didn't want to spend? Or because Hassan Reddick is going to be able to play multiple positions like defensive end, you know, move up as an edge rusher or play the strong side linebacker, of course, and pair him up with TJ Edwards. Now, they did not put a tender on him. So if the Eagles did put a tender on him, a second, third round tender, fourth round tender, whatever the, the draft pick may be, it would automatically give Alex Singleton a one-year deal with the Eagles. And then a team that would have to acquire him um, in the offseason would have to actually trade him for that draft pick tender okay so they did not put one on him which means like i said he is an unrestricted free agent he could sign with any other team i think the eagles are just moving on as of right now alex singleton has been the leading tackler the past two years and um you know he's had his bad moments and he's had really good moments here i think alex singleton is you know he's got a lot of he's got leadership quality he's got energy he's a very good downfield tackler you know what i mean singleton is physical um always showed that tough side of him which i really did like um really good guy off the field and you know um he did all he could here you know what i mean like i never hate alex singleton you know he's messed up on some tackles here and there once in a while or like you know when he's not defending when he's attacking that's where he his strong suit is and that's why i liked him so much um he's nothing more than a backup linebacker or a guy that could fill in for a game or two or a few games whatever if somebody's out with injury um so when you look at this linebacker group in general behind tj edwards that's only here for one year um you're down to Jannard avery that's more of a situational backup type linebacker and then you're down to Davion Taylor, which I have, you know, hopes for him because he's a third round pick. You know, Jim Schwartz didn't use him, obviously, when he was drafted and it really upset me. And they threw him in like week 10 of the season and he looked horrible. But the Eagles kept seven linebackers beginning of the season last year because they want to find you know, the right couple guys to play linebacker, T.J. Edwards being one. And Davion Taylor actually showed to be a really good counterpiece um, and a combination to T.J. Edwards, and I really did like it a lot. Unfortunately, he did get hurt in the offseason, and then Davion Taylor got hurt again right before the bye week with a knee injury, and then, you know, didn't get back from that, so he was out the rest of the year. You know, Jannard Avery is a situational guy. There's really nothing much. Patrick Johnson, there's really nothing much back there. Sean Bradley's probably the next step after that um you know sean bradley's a special teamer does good on special teams could fill in and make some tackles you know what i mean for a couple plays if you need him to but when it comes down to it i think the linebacker group is changing so one of two things are going to happen right now either the eagles are going to like what they have and just stick with what they have and draft a linebacker later on in the mid rounds or they are going after another linebacker in this draft in the first round, like Nicobe Dean or Devin Lloyd, or even Christian Harris in the second round. I think with Singleton leaving, they want to add a better piece to this group. Okay, T.J. Edwards is on a one-year deal, so maybe the Eagles have a plan to where they know they're going to lose him and they have to draft one this year, so they're going to have all three of them pair up um, if they draft a Devin Lloyd and a Kobe Dino, like I said, Christian Harris in the second round. So I don't know what the case is, but this definitely opens up for a linebacker to come to Philly since you know it's been 40 years since they drafted one in the first round, and it could happen. And I think a lot of other pieces – uh, positions on the roster if Fletcher Cox gets traded I think a lot of this will affect this and I kind of know where they will kind of go in this draft in the first round but I mean this could be a sign that they want to make change and I, I understand they signed Hassan Reddick's which is which is great but I think they can definitely add more with the Devin Lloyd you know uh, the Kobe Dean Christian Harris I mean you have a lot of guys there um, and I think you know, beside, with all the defensive ends being taken, maybe a corner or two. I mean, what's being taken in this draft? I think the Eagles literally could draft probably the best linebacker in this draft as of right now between 15 and 19. I don't even think they have to move up, to be honest with you, unless, you know, something else happens or something changes in the tide of time. Uh, but I want to know from you guys what you think about Alex Singleton leaving. Should they have re-signed him? Do you think this is a sign that they're going to go keep upgrading this position? Whether it's free agency or 
you know, there's Jordan Hicks that's available. Bobby Wagner's still available. So there's still guys available if they want to add another piece, which they definitely can. Uh, or do you guys think that they're going to go? This is a sign that they're going to go into the draft and get the guy that they really need and are starting to change things. Let me tell you something. Hassan Reddick was a definitely definite surprise and out of the box move I didn't think they were going for and then if they go into this draft to get a linebacker that's two things I didn't think Howie Rosen was going to do and that would really surprise me um, I would be emotional I'd be almost in tears because you know that I'm starting to see that the Eagles are starting to care about and the front office starting to care about really what they need to upgrade. If you guys know that Howie Roseman talked about linebackers, that they don't have the linebackers for this scheme. If you guys remember that press conference a while back, okay, Howie Roseman talked about the linebacker group and how they need, you know, they don't have enough for this scheme. I understand that. You know what I mean? So if it's upgrading that linebacker position, it's great. You know, you still need a need at corner. You still need a need at safety. Obviously, when you got, by the time you guys watch this, hopefully it's not after we sign a safety or corner or whatnot, whatever we're doing. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Like, I'm kind of waiting to see what happens. You got a few weeks of free, you know, if you got some free agency, we'll be here for a while. And, you know, we'll kind of see where the holes are. We'll see, you know, if it's still empty at this position or we need more. But this could be a sign that they might draft a linebacker. It, it could happen. And if it does, I mean, great. I mean, I'll feel more comfortable the way this team is going forward. Um, but as of right now, I think the Eagles have made some you know good moves so far, and hopefully they make more. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And I will see you guys later. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.